When cars start sliding off the road, that's exactly when Rick Pendergrass hits the road. Kind of busy. <laughs> Definitely been busy. At each stop, Rick gets the same greeting. Sure glad you're here. <laughs> you make a lot of friends on days like this? Well, you know, it's like I always say, nobody wants to ever call us, but they're always glad to see us, you know. Matt Beatty's one of the people glad to see him. And it just slid off. I mean, we didn't touch the brake or nothing. It just kind of went off into the ditch. In a few minutes, Rick has undone what it took Matt a split second to do. Definitely stuck it in there pretty good, so I knew it wasn't going to be something simple to get out of there. Glad, glad I had AAA. <laughs> we'll see if she'll fire up. Rick's glad to help. You know, that's part of the reason I got into this job. I, I love helping people, you know, and I love dealing with cars, so I get the best of both worlds. After getting this truck on its way, Rick's on his way to help another stranded driver. Well, according to the weather, it's not over with, so so keep, keep driving safe and be careful, you know, slow down, pay attention, you know. If not, call us. We'll, we'll come take care of you. Help save Louisiana. That's the mission statement for this lemonade stand. 12-year-old Madison Holiday is working here. She's learned a lot this week. She has family just outside New Orleans. Thanks. Thank y'all for your hard work. So this is like really nice because lots of people yesterday were like, I'm from New Orleans and thank you very much. And I think it's just really nice for people to be thinking about them and their tough time. At Ockley and Anniston, with messages like New Orleans needs you, these big-hearted kids have been hard at work four days raising money. Who are y'all going to give it to? It'll be 100% to New Orleans. The funds they give to the David Toms Foundation will then help families homeless because of the hurricane. A small business with a big mission. I hope it goes to help like diapers for babies and diaper rash ointment and shampoo and clothes and everything. So far, the kids have already raised $1,800. They're hoping to reach $2,000. It's a heartwarming act and a lesson from children wise beyond their years. Thank you. I just, I've always wanted to give back to the community. And um, this is just a time where I can step up and help. In Shreveport, Tiffany Alanese, KTAL News Channel 6. This is what they mean by ODARK 30, a plane load of World War II veterans up well before daylight on a special mission. It's all about them. This is a thank you that we think is way overdue. More than 60 years have passed since they did their duty, and time flies. They're boarding a Central Missouri Honor Flight. That's all about them. We're rushing the clock because these folks are not in the best of health, and they're leaving us so frequently. En route to Washington, D.C., you hear of personal history from those who are part of history. So your grandfather shook hands with Abraham? It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. If you look out both sides of the aircraft, you'll see the water canyon cannons going off. And on arrival, <laughs> applause <laughs> and cheers <laughs> because it's all about them. It really humbled you. Because most of these people came back to start their lives over unnoticed. When you came home from the war, was it any way like this? No. Total strangers even get caught up in the emotion. Their tour bus cruises past all the familiar places and spaces in our nation's capital. But there's only one that's all about them. Thank you for your service and welcome to your memorial. The World War II Memorial, honoring every state, every military branch, and 16 million men and women we now call the greatest generation. This is a, a war that touched everybody. I have never met anyone who didn't have a father, grandfather, uncle, and I think that's one reason why Honor Flight is so overwhelming for my generation. As their father posed with mid-Missouri veterans at the Wall of Stars, his two daughters, who flew from Milwaukee to be here, spoke of the significance of the moment. I think it's a bit of closure for my father. Mm -hmm. He's been living with memories for many years. Iwo Jima survivor Ralph Dobbs grew up in Ava, enlisted in the Marines, raised five daughters, earned five degrees for a university career, and reminded us monuments do not teach history, but help us remember. It actually bridges the gap. It's a major bridge between what once was and what is. Two more are scheduled in November, and on the way back to Missouri. Elmer Johnson. One more mail call. 
personal letters of thanks. Well done. Passed out. Yeah. Little Caldwell. <laughs> yes, sir. To every veteran, because it's all about them. Oh, that's great. Everything we have, we owe to these men and women. Welcome. Thank you. They saved the world for us. Somewhere in the vast Pacific, a Navy man from a little place in the Ozarks recalls his very first day. I showed up to boot camp. The first thing that went through my head was, holy, cr holy crap, what did, what did I just get myself into? Later, Highlandville's Chance Minat got himself onto the aircraft carrier John C. Sinis. He helps keep some of the 90 planes and helicopters in the air at a moment's notice. Cutting through the waves at 35 miles an hour, the Stennis is three football fields long. She's the capital ship in the Navy, uh, Admiral's flagship as well. So. And currently heading home from back-to-back -back missions of intimidating and striking Taliban and Al-Qaeda targets, as well as protecting friendlies. The mission of an aircraft carrier is so important to the United States Navy and to our national security that the firepower that we can provide is, is, is humbling. It's impressive. Seasoned crewmen eat and breathe this stuff especially those from military families. When I think about being on the forefront of what's going on over in the Middle East and all that, it's a, it's a really wonderful feeling. Like, oh man, I look, work on a million dollar jet. Nicholas Inslee of Springfield is also working on becoming a robotics engineer. Uh, when I saw my name on a jet, I was you know, like, oh great, oh this is awesome. But on a floating city of steel, it can get lonely, surrounded only by ocean and sky. You get thrown into 5,000 people and you don't know any of them, 5,000 strangers. So that's what's going to pull the aircraft forward. So on its final leg to the mainland, family members came on board, all to see what parents, sons, daughters, grandchildren, and cousins do. This Joplin mom is on her third trip and plain spoken about the human element. They work together, they, they have fun together, they play together, and they fight and squabble, but as when it comes to working as a unit, it's a very well-oiled machine. To keep the machinery running requires high morale, and inviting the home folks here helps. Sailors can't work and be comfortable at sea if they're, if they're battling through issues at home. So Tiger Cruisers turn into shipmates, touring the decks, dining in the mess. And what we want to do is give them a diverse taste and schedule of what a sailor experiences every day. And there's even entertainment like concerts in the hangar bay. And outdoors, an air show like nothing on land. CGTA remains on constant search and rescue alert. It's an adrenaline rush. It's, I wouldn't trade it for, for very many other things in the world. The Tiger cruisers on this run were picked up in Honolulu. Six days and five nights later, all will disembark in San Diego, very impressed. You quickly come to appreciate uh, the sacrifice that they're taking, things like that. Uh, you appreciate what they're, what, they've, what they're going through. Like these voyages, those words go a long way with enlistees. Thank you for the support, because without, without the support of our families, friends, our loved ones, it, it makes it, it's a little bit harder. Steve Grant, KY3 News. It's a true labor of love. The mere sight of it is amazing. It's the Northwest Louisiana Hurricane Relief Center, run entirely by volunteers. And I, I just haven't had time to sit down and make all the phone calls. Jenny Reynolds helped start the center. My husband was in New Orleans for about a week helping out. He's local law enforcement here. I was hearing all of the stories. Basically, he was saying that it was much worse than what we're seeing on TV and I was tired of sitting there feeling helpless. The doors have only been open 48 hours. In that time, they've helped over 700 hurricane victims. Volunteers like Chris Broussard sharing a smile and offering aid. I just took it upon myself to call our Homeland Security guy and say, I'm, I'm ready to take it on. We've got to do something and we've got to do it now. And I hope I don't step on anybody's toes, but I'm ready. Thanks to Walmart, they're operating out of an old store building in Minden. Thanks to the Webster Parish residents, this center is up and running, offering clothes, bedding, even bikes. I am hoping that we can meet as many of the needs that these people have under one roof as we possibly can. Everything from you know, searching for jobs, how to enroll their kids in school, how to seek health care, get prescriptions filled. 
The donations keep rolling in from refrigerators to fans. The kind people here will continue to help the hurricane victims. They're inspired by the hearts of others. It's really more than I've ever taken in in my life. Um, I don't know that anything has touched me like this, and I don't know these people, but yet I feel like I know them now. Yeah, and we ran like nine to 10,000 people through it, but it was almost like a, a transfer station. This is ready to change my lifestyle as far as... I hope you make it out, but you don't know for sure. But it's always good to know that... It was more or less that she would wind up in a wheelchair. Um, she... I mean, how much we learn and how much the economics. That doesn't mean that everybody... For every Valentine's Day... Weekend. Yeah. Have a lot of medication, a lot of pains, uh, where they get these... This Billy was flown here to Cox South Sunday afternoon. His grandmother and his guardian, Amanda, were... It is very hard hit. We're standing right off of Highway 62. It cuts right through the middle of Spears Wednesday evening. He told me, like the rest of this...